Hey there, I'm David. And I'm Angelique. And we are Adventures, Adventures on, on Deck. Deck. And today, we're talking about 10 mistakes that new cruisers make. Let's do it. All right, guys, so if you're cruising soon, you need to know about these mistakes that people make. Like, it happens all the time to new yeah. cruisers. Make sure that you are paying attention and you do not make any of these mistakes. It will save you a lot of trouble. And money sometimes. And money. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So number one, flying in on the same day as your cruise. Do not do it. This was a bad idea even before COVID. Um, but right now with everything going on, there's a lot of cancellations with airlines. It is an even worse idea now to do it. Do not fly in same day. If you're driving from you know, a reasonable distance, four or five hours, maybe something like that. Um, you can probably get away with driving in that day. We do that. I, yeah. We drive in about three and a half hours away from the cruise port. Um, we've, we've, dr we've driven in the day of the cruise and it's been fine. We've left really early in the morning. Um, so if you're driving in, you've got a reliable car, um, you've got ways to handle things that could go wrong on the road, like flat tires, yeah. things like that. You could probably get away with driving in the day of and be okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would not fly in the yeah. same day as your cruise. Fly in the day before, not worth get a it. hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth it at all. Number two, um, any documents, whether it be your passport, your boarding passes, your negative COVID tests, your vaccination Vaccine cards, cards mm -hmm. any important cruise documents that you need to have, keep them with you. Do not pack them in your luggage especially those examples you're flying in your luggage doesn't make it to where you are mm -hmm. you don't have your documents um i, I know a lot of the cruise lines um, are very specific about needing original documentation for things like your vaccination card you cannot use a, a photo you can't just you know, say that you have it and this is where it was. You have mm -hmm. to have the original documents. The exception is the testing. So if you yeah. took a test, you can have the, the email of the test results. That's fine. Um, you don't have to have a printout. We like to have a printout anyway, just to be care careful. So yeah. we'll bring a printout and the email, yeah. but you don't need the just printout in, in most cases. Signal. <laughs> right, yeah. So it's but, good to have a backup, but yeah. But yeah, we like to keep everything in a folder um, mm -hmm. just so that everything is in one place. You know where it is and you put it away in your carry-on right. after you're done with it. Right. All right, so those are the first two tips. We've got eight more to go. We're mm -hmm. gonna go over all 10. If you like this content, you like this video so far, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. It's totally free um, and it goes a long way to showing YouTube that you guys um, like what you're seeing here. Yeah. So thank you, we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, number three, airplane mode. This one can save you a lot of money. So. Yeah. Um, if you've ever been in a place with no service and your phone likes to constantly try to update um, and, and find somewhere that it can connect to, um, you'll be in roaming and it's using data, it sends data back and forth to try to make that connection happen. If you're in a space where you can't connect to anything for an extended period of time, like in the middle of the ocean, um, that can get very pricey. So mm -hmm. make sure that once you start sailing away from the port or you're a little bit away from the port, you start losing cell service make sure if you don't have a data plan that covers all of that with your um, with your cell company, make sure that you are in airplane mode. Um, because again, that will save you a lot of money. And future tip that's coming a little bit later, it will help you be on time as well. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. So number four, and this one, I go into more detail about what I like to pack in another video. Uh, we, can we can link that here. Yeah, we'll link that in, in this one. But uh, over-the-counter medications, sunblock, reef friendly, reef safe, and just prepare for it. Sunburn cream, aloe vera oil, whatever mm -hmm. gel, whatever it is that you use, pack those things in advance. So it doesn't mean that you have to take the whole pharmacy with you. Right. Um, I like to get just a little insert with a couple of pills of each kind and just put them in one uh, cosmetic bag, keep mm -hmm. all of my medication together. But 
it's really simple and it saves you a lot because there are some over-the-counter medications that they offer in the shops, mm -hmm. but you better believe that they're going to be marked up. Yeah, so, they're extremely overpriced. Same thing with sunscreen. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dramamine, the uh, yeah. anti-nausea, the seasickness, right. uh, but also, bands. Right. But also a good tip that she mentioned, reef safe. So there are reef safe like sunscreens, that kind of stuff. Um, because the chemicals in some sunscreens can be damaging to the environment that you're at. So just make sure that you do look for reef safe um, yeah. uh, sunscreen and those kind of things to make sure that you're not damaging the environment while you're there. Yeah, and I can put a link for um, some of my favorite ones that we've found uh, in the description below as well. There you go. Okay, so tip number five, mm -hmm. ship time. Yep. So once you get on your cruise ship, you are now officially on ship time. Uh, which typically is the time in the time zone that you are leaving from. So the port that you're leaving from, that's usually what you're going to get as ship time. That's what happens. The problem, though, is that if you didn't put your plane on, your phone on airplane mode, like we talked about earlier, um, and then you get to these ports, or you had it on airplane mode, and you take it off of airplane mode once you get to the port, because now you have cell service, the issue is your phone, unless you tell it not to, will automatically update its time to the current time where you are. Mm -hmm. So now you're no longer on ship time. And keep in mind that Newport may be a different time zone than where you left from, or uh, maybe the place you're going to doesn't have daylight savings time or whatever could happen and the times could be different. If your phone updates to the local time that where you are, it's very, very possible you can miss the cruise ship. Yep. Now, if you don't book a, an excursion with your cruise line directly, Let's say you either just wanted to walk around the port that day or you booked an excursion that's not booked through the cruise line, which we do um, yeah. sometimes. Um, the cruise line is not responsible for making sure that you are back on board. They will not wait for you for long. They may wait a little bit, but not yeah. very long at all. Um, it's very, very possible that you will get left. If you don't believe me, Look up Pier Runners yep. on YouTube. You will see a huge, after you watch this video first, obviously, <laughs> but you will see a huge list of people running back to the ship and some of them do get left, even though they can still see the ship. Like yep. it's that, like the ship, once the ship leaves, it's gone. Yep. Um, so again, it's very important to make sure that you are on ship time. What I like to do is, um, cause sometimes we do like to bring our phones. We do like to take pictures. There is a setting on your phone where you can turn it off of automatic updates. Um, to where the time will stay set to what you left it as and it will not update with your local stuff You can do that and take your phone out of airplane mode and you're okay What I like to do personally though is I have I have an Apple watch or if you have a manual watch that works very well, too Because um, obviously that's not going to change the time zone mm -hmm. um, But if I use my Apple watch I leave my Apple watch in airplane mode even when I'm at the port and so that way my watch is always on ship time and I never have to worry about it. I put my watch in airplane mode when we leave, um, and then I never mess with it again after that. Um, so it's always on the right time, even if my phone updates, if I forgot to change that setting or something like that, my watch is always correct. So um, tip number six, save room for souvenirs. Now, he tries so hard to have me have a list of who we're buying for, what we're doing, and it never fails. There's always, oh, but that's really cute for this person. Mm -hmm. And I really like that one. Don't you want this ornament for us? We could get something for <laughs> us. So it yeah. never fails that there's more coming back than what we originally planned for. Right. And, and we do plan for souvenirs. <laughs> we do. But it's still not enough. Just make sure you're not overpacking. Right. Plan out as many outfits as you feel comfortable with. Your shoes, you don't need 15 pairs of shoes. Um, and just save some room for the things that you're going to bring back because right. you're going to have fun on your trip. You're going to make memories and maybe there's some souvenir that you decided needs to have a spot in your home. Just make right. sure it's got a spot in your luggage. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So number seven, this one will save you money. I will be honest with you. I'm guilty of making this mistake and I'll yep. tell you exactly why. Um, and I don't regret it, but I did make this mistake. Um, so pictures on the Lido deck versus pictures at happy hour. There is a drastic, drastic difference in price. So, um, for example, the pictures on the Lido deck are over $30 a picture. Um, 
And at happy hour, you can get that exact same picture for like 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. So it is almost three times, probably about three times as expensive on the Lido deck versus happy hour. I'll tell you how I'm guilty of making this. We hadn't cruised in, you know, about a year and a half or so. It's been obviously because of COVID shut down, everything like that. Our first cruise back, we walk in, I get a drink, we hit our muster station, we go up to Lido and I'm just so excited and so happy to be back. I, I, I know that it's overpriced. I did it anyway. Yeah, I, okay. I, I just I wanted I just I wanted to just enjoy that moment so much that yeah, I, I way overpaid for the drinks. And so we both got a picture there and we add our, our guy's burger. <laughs> um, you got blue iguana as well. Mm -hmm. And we just sat there and hung out. So, yeah, I was overexcited and paid more for a picture than I should have. But again, I don't regret it. We had a great time. And then we went down to the happy hour after that and got more pictures. Don't judge us. We like to drink. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good time. It was fun. So, um, speaking about a good time, it's mm -hmm. important that you have a good time. Mm -hmm. um, but you want to make sure that you're doing everything that you need to to schedule things in advance and just prepare yourself for this trip and so this next tip tip number eight uh, or mistake number eight that people make not testing before your flight so if you're in a situation we've talked about not wanting to fly in the same day you're flying in the day before the way that it's required right now you have to have a test at least two days it's within two days of your sailing date so you want to test before you get on the plane because if you get on the plane you're super excited there's no requirement to test before you get on the plane you get to your destination and then you test there and test positive now you're stuck trying to figure out what you're going to do for five six seven days right um so just make sure to book your tests in advance and test before you travel that way once it's done once you've got that negative you're okay to travel you're okay to cruise you're able to just enjoy the rest of it right absolutely um all right so number nine a lot of people make this mistake um and i think we've made this one too <laughs> um not budgeting for your onboard expenses and not even just onboard expenses but you're at the port expenses your mm -hmm. souvenirs and things like that it's something you need to budget for uh, and so you need to have a decent understanding and this is hard to do on your first cruise because you don't know what you don't know and what things cost and how this all works i get that but it's still something that new cruisers make uh, a mistake that new cruisers make or even two three four cruises in you may still make this mistake but Make sure that you're budgeting for your expenses. Um, understand what you're gonna do as far as drinking is concerned. Are you a heavy drinker? If so, you may wanna get the drink package. If you do, book it early, because you do get a discount if you book it in advance on the website, as opposed to booking it at the on the ship. But if you do end up buying it on the ship, just again, make sure you're budgeting for that. If you're um, gonna just get a few drinks per day, again, put that stuff in your budget. An approximate budget for what you're gonna spend on souvenirs. Um, all the things that you may wanna get. Um, grew for St. Jude. Budget some money to donate to St. Jude because right. that's a very important cause. Um, if, if you're on Carnival, right, budgeting for, for taxis. All those kinds of things are things that you need to think about. Um, cruising is very great because you can just pay it all in advance and then you get there and you don't really have to put a lot of money out while you're on your vacation. But you are going to want to put some money out in almost every situation. So just make sure that you plan for that and that you budget for that so that way you're not overwhelmed with a very large bill at the end of your trip. And they let you off the ship. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a credit card ready to go to pay that. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. We're going to have a tough conversation against <laughs> services. Right, you get pulled aside <laughs> at the end. Um, but, yes, th that's great. a great point. Um, tip number 10, this is important for before you get off the ship. Mm -hmm. So I'm a pictures person. I love pictures. Yes. <laughs> Cost me a lot of money. He's not such a fan. But I love pictures. Okay? <laughs> pixels on Carnival. We're speaking Carnival specific just because that's where we've cruised. Um, pixels is their photo center. That's where you are able to buy the digital copies versus prints versus canvas. They have it all. But for your digital copies, the pixels representative if they're if you're there in person they'll walk you through it to make sure that you don't make this mistake 
you are able to purchase the picture, but you have to download it to your cell phone and save it in your camera roll before you get off the ship. Once you're off the ship, the photo's gone. So it's something that you can pay $150 and have you know 15 pictures of your cruise, but if you didn't save them to your camera roll, you right. have a very expensive memory. That's, <laughs> right. that's it. So um, just make sure that if you are questioning whether or not your pictures are there, look through your camera roll. That's for iPhone, Android, whatever. It all downloads to the same way. Um, but just ask somebody right there. They're so helpful. They're willing to even give you some freebies. Um, they usually have some kind of freebie, whether it's a yeah. photo book or tote bag. Well, or... And they should because the pictures are completely overpriced. I'll be completely honest with you. They are absolutely they are overpriced. Pricey. So do not get these on every cruise or on a regular basis or things like that. But if it's a special occasion, something like that, you may want to get a few um, mm -hmm. pictures. It's totally understandable. But just don't go crazy. Take the pictures on your cell phone. Yes, they're not as good as the pictures that they do professionally but they're also free. Yeah. Um, these pictures are not a good value, to be honest, but again, certain situations, you may want to do it. This is from our first ever cruise, um, so we, we got that one. Our next cruise is going to be our wedding cruise, mm -hmm. and we're bringing all the kids and all the family for the first time ever on a cruise, so we'll definitely get some pictures of that professionally done. Um, but then after that, I think we're done with pictures on the cruise for probably a while. I think we're done with hopefully we'll see <laughs> i'm trying please help me please in the in comments, comments explain <laughs> why we should not be getting pictures on every cruise like i get the special occasion ones that's mm -hmm. fine but our after the wedding cruise our next one's already planned for november of, of, of 2022 mm -hmm. we don't need pictures on that one freshly done we can take them on our camera and we we, anyway, we'll discuss this later on. Okay. But explain in the comments how I'm right and she's wrong, please. Thank or you. Or in the comments, you can say, you know what? If there's somebody who doesn't <laughs> like pictures anyway, and one of the talented staff happened to capture a great moment, it's okay. $18 is fine. It's worth it. $18 You're on vacation. is more than any picture should cost. I'm Put it saying. in the but comments. Anyway. We'll see who wins. We'll see who wins. I'm going to win this one, right, guys? We'll see. I'm winning this one. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm winning this one. Anyway, guys, so that's it. Those are our 10 tips for, or 10 cruising mistakes that people make. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, let us know. Did we miss anything? What are some mistakes that you've made? How many of these 10 did you make? Leave that in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've made a couple of them for yeah. sure. Um, so again, even though we knew them going in, like we knew in advance I that know. this was a mistake to make and we still made it anyway. So I get it. It happens. But how many of these have you made? Um, or what other mistakes are there out there that we didn't include here? Cause there are more. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's definitely more. And we'll be sure to bring them to you as we find them out. Absolutely. <laughs> All right guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. See you around. Bye.